Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to create a local Windows offline account. So let's go ahead and click start. Then I want you to type users. And as you can see at the top left hand corner of the screen, we have a link that says add, edit or remove other users. So let's click on that. And then we get a uh, a window up here and I want you to click on add someone else to this PC now once we've clicked on that what we'll find is that Windows is going to try and steer you in the direction of creating an online account but of course you're probably watching this video because you don't want to do that it's worth noting at this point that obviously if you create a local account you're not going to get the benefits of having an online account so the benefits are that you'll get integration with Windows, Office, Outlook.com, OneDrive, Skype, and Xbox. So, for example, in Edge, if you have some favorites, those will get synced up if you have an online account. But sometimes you don't want an online account, you just want a local account. So uh, you might want an administration account, for example, or a guest account, or you might just have someone that wants to pop around and use the PC. So you can create a local account if you want to and you would do that by clicking this link here I don't have this person's sign-in information so once you've clicked on that it still wants you to enter the uh, the email address um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this link here which is add a user without a Microsoft account so click on that and essentially what we're going to do now is create an offline account. So in this instance, I'm just going to call it test. You don't have to enter a password at this point, but let's go ahead and, and enter a password. So I'm just going to put one, two, three, four, five, because obviously this is one, two, three, four, five, just a test. And at this point, you can also enter some security related questions just in case you happen to forget your password and in here I'm just going to put QWERTY for the sake of this demonstration obviously don't put QWERTY and don't put a password of 12345 so let's go ahead and click next and that's it we are done if we click on uh, test though, we can actually change the account type. So we can change it from a standard user to an administrator. Obviously, if you change the account to administrator account, they then have administrator privileges. So they're going to be able to install things and make changes to the, to the system. So you might not want that. So we can change it back to standard user. And likewise, if you want to delete that account, we just click on remove. And that will obviously goes without saying, but that will obviously delete all of the account data that is stored on the PC. So let's go ahead and click it because we don't want it. And let's go ahead and close down that window. So with that said, that probably wraps up this video. I uh, hope you found it useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see similar content to this in the future, perhaps consider subscribing. And until next time, take care.